that dude. This one's nice. bigger. About time. <laughs> we are heading eight miles offshore out of Sabine Pass, fishing the nearshore rigs, hoping to catch some huge fish. We're going to be taking a large assortment of baits, casting them under the rigs, casting big lures, hoping to land some monsters. I hope you're ready because this is going to be a sick video. I got an assortment of fish left stuff here. This stuff I'm going to be using to go offshore. I'm going to take a few offshore trips this year. Exciting new content, but I think. Man, I'm pretty sure the water is gonna be super murky. I'm gonna take some of these uh, NOBNs here. The dark one, the purple here. Cause I know the jetty's gonna be dirty. I'm gonna go ahead and throw this into my big game soft plastic box here. We got a bunch of uh, different soft plastics, mainly eels here from Fish Lab. Check out these beautiful eels. I'm gonna jig them at the bottom of the jetties, so hopefully get something. Got the jig heads and everything. And I got this old school spool tech here. This one right here has caught a lot of fish. It's all beat up. <laughs> but man, this one's caught a lot of fish. I'm gonna go ahead and grab a spinning reel. Uh, on the way there, there's gonna be a lot of places that we can stop at. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab a medium action uh, spinning setup here. Let's go ahead and get this one right here. And to make things worse for the fish, I'm gonna grab the overkill setup. The OP, of course, it's not a beach bomber fishing video if we're not overpowered for bull reds. We're gonna bring the Okuma. Makara 10,000 spinning spool with 65 pound braid with extremely high end components. We got the casting cannon on there and we are set up to land anything that comes in our way with this. All right, so gear wise, we're all ready to go. We got the three combos. We got the lures that we're gonna be taking. What I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna go out and run some errands. I'm gonna go get some, uh, some crabs just in case. I can't get mullet, so we're gonna be fishing the crabs alive. Sink them down to the bottom with like an eight ounce weight and maybe some drum, some of reds are gonna come up to it. We are gonna be fishing very specific parts of the jetty. I was on avionics, screwing around, messing around, and uh, we saw some, some nice spots, so we're gonna drop some baits down there and lures. Hopefully we can catch some big fish. All right, before we leave, I gotta make sure that we can find crabs. I don't wanna go to the store and then there be no crabs. It's gonna be a waste of time, but I have my favorites on my phone. I got all the fiestas in my area <laughs> so we're gonna we're gonna give them a call this is something you always have to do because you don't want to just drive around wasting time looking for crabs Let's see what we got here yes, I'm registered. hey can you connect me with seafood please yes thank you because i feel we're gonna look like i'm crazy when i walk into this place because nobody vlogs at fiesta <laughs> All right. What's going on, man? You understand? All right. Let's get these crabs here. Female crab. Yeah, they're all females. Dang, they only have female crabs here. I guess it really doesn't matter because they've already been caught. Someone's going to eat them. They're going to die regardless of the male or female here at this point. So I think I'm just going to get whatever. Ah, si, por favor. Ooh, that's going to be a small fortune. <laughs> when did they go up in price? Um, recently. Yeah, they used to be they were like six. six. Oh yeah. They went up to six and up. Wow. Why did they get so expensive? I have no idea. We barely get any boxes though. Oh, really? Barely? Yeah, we got like one or two boxes. Yeah. Like they used to get a lot more or what? Yeah. You go today's captain. Got any coal? But well, these guys might have some, uh, I guess, fish that they might want to give away. Or he pointed out somewhere that way. You got any coal? You have any coal? Coal, like mow it. Here we go. We're on the way to the tip of the jetties. Hopefully, we catch some fish out there. We might make some stops along the way to see what's going on, but the mission right now is to get to the tip of the jetty. We're gonna cruise the shoreline here to see if there's any bait. And if we look over, it looks like Armageddon out there. And here we go, guys. This is the dump. You've seen me make videos out here before. It was all trashed. There's like human bodies on the ground and everything. I don't know if you guys can see it, but that is the Louisiana Sabine Jetty right over there. Check it out guys, we've made it to the first platform. This is crazy. To me, it's a very surreal. I've never been offshore. 
Finally found the spot. Awesome. Oh yeah. I don't even know how you can get up there. We got the Alijos 5 right here. We're gonna drop this down. Hopefully get something. Just wanna find a uh, some sort of make a leader real quick and drop that down. Oh, I haven't smelled more than a minute. It smells like, it smells good. Man, I'm glad we left that freaking Armageddon cloud over there. It was feeling kind of gloomy over there. So I'm glad we left that Armageddon uh, cloud because now it's nice out here and the water just looks pretty good. Perfect. Let it drop all the way down. It's about 40 feet here, so we should stop right about there. There we go. We're at the bottom now. Hopefully this crowd gets hit. I'm surprised we haven't caught any black drum. Do they not go out this far off by any chance, do you know? Yeah, I'm pretty sure they do. Get the Makara at 10,000 and start casting some lures along here, see what happens. Still got the, the tag on here. We're gonna go ahead and start with one of these eels from Fish Lab, see if we can get something down there. Get this darker color here, drop it down there. Finally get to use the Makaira 10,000. You got a big red or what? Nice. That was quick, dude. That was quick. For the win. Nice blue red. Is on the crab? Yeah. Nice. First one at the rig. Not too bad. He got beat up. Something scratching him. Mm -hmm. running around the pilings. Get that parasite out of it. Nice, perfect, dude. Hell yeah. Just the direction where I'm casting at. We're not getting. I'm not getting any hits over here, but all the hits are on the back side of the boat. So we're gonna switch over here. You on? <laughs> Bro? Swear to God. Hell yeah, dude. This one's nice. bigger. This one's bigger. Those guys were probably like, nah, get out of here. We got too many fish here. They want us to catch them. <laughs> this one's pulling drag on the habit. Nice. They are jealous. Me, I do what I want when I want. They are jealous. Pulling drag on the LX. Here it comes. Oh, that's, that's a, a big, big bull red. Dude, that is huge. That's a huge bull red. Let me get it for you. That is a tank, bro. That's definitely 45 plus. You think it's good? Come <laughs> Dude, look at that torso, dude. What a beast. What a beast. Look at that huge bull red. Wow. First 10 minutes we're here. Gee, dude, Two it's in. huge, man. We've been out here about an hour and the current has definitely changed. The boat was pulling out that way southeast, but now the current changed. Now the boat's going this way. And uh, we're gonna see if we can cast out this way since the current's that way to see if we can get any hits because the bike completely stopped since the current changed. There's like a little eddy right there. About time. There we go. Ooh, it's pulling a nice drag here. Uh, we got we got some leverage on it now. That current is pulling him in, pulling him away pretty good. This big fish. Ah, there we go. Coming up. There we go. Start putting the putting the brakes on it right here so it doesn't go under the rig. Looks like a nice bull red. Yep. Nice. Ooh, what a tank. 40? Yeah. Hey, just put it down right here. I just don't get her. Oh, yeah, yeah. If 
probably another one of them 40s. Hell yeah. <laughs> He's gonna let himself go. Yeah, that's what I was saying. <laughs> let me get the scout camera real quick. Check it out, guys. Nice bull red here at the rig. Look at this thing. It's thick. It's about 40 inches, but these look pretty big for the length. Really fat and girthy. Check it out, y'all. Beautiful red. About 30 cent foot of water eating crabs. All right, let me let it go. You want to fish now? Perfect. Pulling some drag, too. Copper. Nice, this is long. <laughs> Perfect. Beautiful red, check it out, y'all. Look at how y'all, beautiful fish. Beautiful copper color out here. I'll show you offshore red, I was looking really nice and pretty. Check it out. It's not blue like at the beach. <laughs> oh yeah. We're all beat up and brown at the point there in Port Arthur. See you later, dude. Right there. Yes. Dude, the thing is, I don't know. That's more for you, huh? Where do you want to go to now? I think we're just going to go to that small platform right here. We'll go catch the jetty, the boat cut, and the tide going out of that Ooh, this nice. evening. We arrived at the next platform and hopefully we are changing our luck changes here. So we ended up going to another set of platforms. We didn't have any luck. We stayed there for about 30 minutes. We then left and we headed back to the jetties. One of the big observations that I've made here, going along from the inside of Port Arthur, way into the other rigs, is how dirty the water is on the other side, Texas side of Port Arthur. I mean, well, it was only a mile down where the water was all tannic brown and now it's clean and green over here. I think it's pretty crazy. Um, in the summer, like, let's say like mid spring up until the summer, this would be perfect jack water. You could probably catch big Spanish mackerel, but definitely a lot of jacks and probably a cobia in the mix. All right, so there's a lot of current and it's pretty wavy out here. We're gonna move to the outer side of the jetty here. As you can see, the waves are pretty, uh, the swells are bigger here and we keep getting pushed close to the jetty. So we're gonna go ahead and swing around and instead of getting pushed to the jetty, we're gonna have to, we're gonna get drift out away from the jetty that way. I think that in the like mid spring, early spring, the water should be like 60, 65 to like 70 degrees. And then uh, with this water color here, perfect. You can't get to these by foot? No, no, no. The water's much cleaner out here, dude. Yeah. So now we're just trying to find a good position right here. You can see there's a rock right there. You can barely see them. If you, were, if you, if you weren't familiar with this area, you could easily hit these rocks. Probably something. It's a grouper. Too sad. <laughs> That's Rebo right at our last destination at the boat cut, the Texas side of the Sabine Pass. We're gonna try this spot. Hopefully, we can hook up to something. 
He's caught four, I've caught one. So right now he just got a really nice tug on a huge piece of oil like this big. So that was, he probably had a grouper on there. But uh, hopefully we our, you know, our luck changes and we get something out before we leave. Crab most of the time, we're gonna change it up because it seems like a lot of the hits are coming off the mullet. So we're gonna change it up. Get a nice chunk. Perfect. Nah, this is great. Hopefully something's hungry to eat this giant slab. <laughs> a fish on it felt like it. Oh yeah, there's definitely a fish on here. <laughs> That's so random. But oh hell yeah, there we go. Yes. Yes. Try to bring it over this way. Well, I guess I'm gonna have to just go wherever it wants to go. Get this and then I'll get the fish. Oh, what's up with this throat? Wow. That's a pretty long one too. Dang. Nice. Let me uh... check it out, guys. Another one. Oh, big boar in here. Oh. <laughs> it's probably like, why am I being held vertically? Check it out, guys. Whew. Big boar right here. Probably about 39, 40 inches. Just caught it right now. We didn't even know it was on because we were moving the boat around, and sure enough, big fish on. We're going to let it go. Oh. <laughs> nice and slimy. Trying to lose these bogus. I want to give me some, but I don't know if I should get the 30 or the 60 pound ones. What you... Perfect. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Should have caught it right there. Fucking ripped his tail in right there. Was that what that was? Yeah. All right, Did let you me. See him too? Yep. Oh. Wow. Yeah. Is that a gar or a redfish? I think it's a black gar. Is it? That's what it looks like. It definitely has it. Oh, there we go. There we go. Oh, there's a lot of rocks down there. Oof, a lot. This is definitely a nice one. It feels nice. Dang, it went all the way over here. There we go. I don't know. I think it's a red. Yeah. Is it? Oh, it might be. Didn't feel too big. Dude, if it's like a 30 inch, I'm gonna keep it. I got a tag. <clears throat> oh, it probably is one of the 30 inchers. Let me check it out real quick. 31. All right, I'm gonna tag it. This is a no spot bull red here. No spots. Check it out. How does that even happen? I have no idea. And I have sea lights on the back too. And you can see it right there. Check it out. Whew, these mosquitoes. All right. Let's sell this, man. Yeah, this is better than the. You used a whole crap. Yeah. So this is gonna be a big fish, man. All right, you got Drew's on an entire chunk of crab that means that it's probably a huge draw come around this way perfect man i hope this is it there it comes there it comes 
big one. <laughs> This is gonna be hard to get up. It's fucking. Oh, what a... Dude, this thing is huge, dude. Look at them lips. Wow. It's, it's been copied for. Yeah. They're all fed up. Oh, jeez. Here. Hey, that's the fun part. Lifting this huge. Beast, dude, that is huge, man. What a big drone, dude. You can't even put it in the, in the tire frame. It's like 45 inches right there, man. Yeah, you might.